Okay, we're having a look at the Multi Wii Pro with the 2.3 before Christmas um, edition. So here's our GAUI. We're set up on Comport 2. There's our speed. We are connected. Okay, so you can see here no satellites inside at the moment. Here's our active sensors, <coughs> and I fly with Horizon on all the time. Here's my here's my copter here. Here's I've got my radio on. So you always turn your radio on plug your um, copter into the computer and then connect it. So you can calibrate your ACCs here. Um, that'll do that for you. Okay. The next thing we'll do is we'll go and have a look at our mission and what mission planner does. So default altitude is 25 meters here. So let's say we're at this park in sunny Newcastle and we're sort of sitting around here. We'll have our first waypoint here, so we right click at a waypoint, we'll fly over here at a waypoint, over here at a waypoint, at a waypoint, and then what we'll do is we'll add a return to home. Now, you'll notice here that return to home has got no altitude, so we'll put 15 meters in there, and all those other ones are 25. You can add change them to whatever you want if you um, do whatever you like. Over here, these are your um, time delay. So if you want a time delay of five seconds before it comes back, all good. Okay. So you can upload your mission. Now that'll upload to the copter. Away you go. Okay. Now if I delete all that, and this doesn't work, this clear root thing, if I download the mission, that's what's downloaded from the copter itself. Okay. If I want to save that mission, I go save, I'll call it Newcastle test. Okay. And if I go load mission now, I can go to load Newcastle test and there it is and I go upload that mission. And that's how you do it. And you can of course move them around wherever you want to go with them. Okay. Do whatever you like. But don't forget you've got to save it. Now upload that to your board. Okay. Um, you can put gauges in here um, to show you what's going on. If you're flying via Bluetooth, you can um, you can have a look at the gauges here as well. Um, I won't go into too much of that, but that's basically what you've got there. Now, if you're using a Bluetooth, um, the APC220 uh, unit, you might want to drop that down to one hertz so that it can actually uh, keep up with what's going on in your computer. So that's your mission. Okay, flight tuning. Now here's my settings. So there's a couple of things here. All PID stock. I don't do anything with the PIDs. I've changed the expo rate from 0.65, which was up here somewhere, um, down to 0.3, because um, I don't like to have too much expo, and I put the RC rate up to one, just makes it a little bit more sort of high performance. Nothing in these expo rates. We're not doing aerobatics. Over here you can set up your waypoint radius and your altitude, uh, return to home altitude height, uh, cross uh, track gain you don't need to do anything with, there's your speeds, uh, you can change them, you can also have your waypoint distance and your navigation altitude maximum um, height. Now up here, if you don't have this one, that's default wait to reach the altitude height before um, returning to home what it'll mean that if you have that selected it'll want to try and find the altitude before it comes back so if you turn it off doesn't matter what altitude it is it'll always come home okay so you can just do that by writing all that to the board okay and that's basically all you need to do there so nothing in that that's for your plane now here's my settings so if you have a look now I've got my radio on Throttle is working on channel 1, um, pitch forward, pitch backwards, roll to the right, roll to the left, yaw to the right, yaw to the left. Okay, so auxiliary switch 4 is my gear switch, um, 1 is my 3 way switch, um, 2 is my um, elevator switch and of course Auxiliary 3 is um, my um, rudder switch. So what I've done here is I've just picked a switch. doesn't matter which one you can do. You can, you can do all of them if you like. But it just means here that I'm always in horizon mode. 
Okay, so do all your high, medium and lows and write that to your board. Now you turn on which switch you want. Now you can see auxiliary switch 4 over there is, is flashing up in here. So I use that for my mag. So, okay, so all I do is I flick my switch and I go, okay, that's, so I'll turn it on and I want the mag. I do that and I write that and that's mag on and off. Okay, I don't use heads free with this. I've got my three-way switch. The first click is position and hold or GPS hold and then the second click is return to home. And okay, and I've got altitude hold which is my barrow. Okay, and then of course I've got the new one which is down here which is do your mission. Okay, so um, so basically that's what you've what you've got there. Okay, um, sensor graph in here. You've got all your sensors uh, for your for your copter. Okay, now that's the one there you want to have. Make sure that your accelerometers are all zero zero and two fifty six or two fifty three. And basically that's about it. Um, you can log and start a GPS log if you're connected via Bluetooth. Uh, if you're flying around the park, which I do, and you can record it all and have a look, and then view your log back through there. Uh, hit the panic button, you can load all your defaults, but whenever you make changes, you've got to write to the board um, to see what you've done, you read. Okay, that's all you do. So, your flight tuning, read. Okay, I can change all this if I want without, without setting or changing anything. So, as long as I don't hit the write, but if I go back and I hit the read, it goes back to what my original settings are. So, it's always a good idea to come in here and hit the, hit the read button first. So hopefully you've got something out of that. Uh, we might go for a bit of a fly around Newcastle, have a bit of a look, eh? So um, all good. Um, any issues, any questions, any problems, give us a yell and happy to answer them and happy flying, people.